did the Apostle Thomas make it to India where he was martyred? Well, this is a great question. Let's take a look at some things we know. First off, biblically, Thomas seems like the kind of person that could maybe pull this off. He's adventurous, he's faithful, he has this willingness to follow Jesus and demands evidence. Second, what's interesting historically, is we look at some of the apostles like, say, Bartholomew, there's multiple places that he went and competing contradictory accounts. But the story and the claims of Thomas a fairly prominent apostle going to India and dying as a martyr are essentially unanimous. Now we also know from historical accounts that at the middle to the end of the first century is kind of the ideal time that travel could take place between the Middle East and between India. In fact, we have careful accounts of where the currents would go and that trade took place, so it's certainly possible. Well, what's the positive evidence that he did? Well, we do find evidence of Christianity, as reported by Eusebius, in India, at least by the second century. So Christianity made it there early. Now, when it comes to the Apostle Thomas, there's really two lines of evidence that people point towards. One is called the Acts of Thomas, which is an apocryphal account, probably towards the end of the second century, early third. So it's removed a little bit historically, but that doesn't mean that it's false. It's filled with legends such as uh, Thomas being sold into slavery to northern India and having these dreams and supernatural events. But the question is, is this surrounded by a historical core? It has him going to India and dying as a martyr. And a coin was found about a century and a little bit more ago of King Gundafar, who's mentioned in the Acts of Thomas. And some of the other figures in there match up with what we know independently historically which has made many scholars say, wait a minute, although there could be some legend here, it could be historical. Second, you have the people of Thomas Christians who live in India, who don't have a written record, but they have traditions in poems, in songs, in stories that they tell going all the way back to the time of Thomas coming to India. These people are absolutely convinced. So we have arguably two lines of evidence saying that Thomas made it to India and died there as a martyr. Now, is it late? Yes. Is it as much as we would like? No. But I think there may be something to this and there's at least good historical reason to believe that Thomas made it to India, first brought the gospel there, and in fact died as a martyr.